All right, people, sound the alarm. It's about that time. Well, nearly anyway. Will it be victory for Nigeria at AFCON 2023 or will it be disappointment? Let's find out together. We are Nigeria Football Kings and please like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos. We're going to be breaking down the defenders and the goalkeepers that have been selected for Nigeria in this tournament. So keep it locked. So we're going to start off with the defenders and who is the first person that we're launching with is Mr. William Troost Ekong. So he plays for PAOK in in Greece, he's 30 years old. He's got nine club goals and four goals for the national team. So he has been with Nigeria for a while. He started off his career in the Nigerian green and white by being a part of the formidable Oibo wall with Leon Balogu. Well, that's what they were called. So he has been a mainstay and is the on-pitch captain or had been in the past when Ahmed Musa was benched. I don't think he's going to make the starting lineup because in the last couple of games, Calvin Bassi and Shimia Jai have been preferred in that pairing but I believe that he might bring some leadership qualities off the pitch but I'm not too certain about his starting he's had good games he's had bad games but either way whether he starts or not is, is, is left to be determined moving on to Osei Sambo he's age 26 plays for Fenerbahce he's got 19 club goals and zero goals for the national team so he was recently introduced he was a very important player when Nigeria faced Guinea-Bissau having lost our first leg we went to Guinea-Bissau and he was instrumental in Nigeria getting the penalty that was converted by Moses Simon. He made a beautiful run on the right, was tripped in the box and that opportunity was converted. Will he start? Only time will tell. Pesero has been a bit confusing and confused about how he will deploy or say Samuel, but he has made the squad. I mean, we'll just wait for the first game and we find out. Anyway, moving on, we've got Ola Aina. He plays for Nottingham Forest. He's 27 years old, five club goals and zero goals for the national team. So he's a guy that I like. He's one of the UK born Nigerian players and is a very committed player. He has played in the UK everywhere, in England that is. He's played in Chelsea. He's also played for Fulham, as you can see, and has a wicked left foot, Bulala. So he's a guy that, I mean, I love his hair too as well, but he's a guy that has them skills. He's moved out to Italy with Torino, as you can see in that clip but yeah he's back in the squad so we've got Zaidu Sanusi he plays for FC Porto he's age 26 he's got nine club goals and he's got zero goals for the national team so he's another guy that on his day I believe he's unplayable there was a beautiful assist that he made in qualifying to Ihe Nacho I mean he did all the dribbling and Ihe Nacho just had to roll that ball into the back of the net but he has those sort of things one day he's on fire unplayable another day he's nowhere to be found which Zaidu Sanusi, please show up now. Anyway, Bruno Oyemaechi. He's age 24. He's got four club goals and he's got zero goals for the national team. So he's one of the new guys that was brought in recently. In a couple of friendlies, he was started by Pesero, but I don't actually see him starting in the tournament proper. Not because he doesn't have the skills. I just believe that Pesero might have his guys that he's always going to call or a certain approach that he might take. But you never know. That's the thing about tournaments. So now we've got Shimi Ajayi. He plays for West Brom Albion. He's age 30. He's got 25 goals and he's got one goal for the national team. So he has come a bit more to the fore now. He is the preferred central back pairing him and Calvin Bassi. So I will be surprised if he actually doesn't start. I think he has booted Troost Ekong to the bench, but you never know. I mean, sadly with Pesero, he, I mean, I'm never too sure. Anyone, please tell me who Pesero is going to pick. We never know, but we'll find out. Hopefully he stays consistent. So speaking of Calvin Bassi, I like this guy. He plays for Fulham, age 24, one goal for club and zero goals for country. So Calvin Bassi, I mean, he used to play at Rangers with Aribo and was on fire there. You know, he's now at Fulham, but at Ajax, he was also a good, great player. So I like a lot of the things that this boy does. He's strong on the ball and he's also quick. I mean, I think he's a no-nonsense defender. Nigerian fans have always enjoyed from the past. Now we have Chidozie Awaziem. So he's always been there. He's age 27. He also plays for Boa Vista. He's got nine club goals and he's got one goal for the national team. So he's been with Nigeria. I think it was even at the 2019 AFCON. I mean, he can sometimes he's on fire. Sometimes it's not good. Sometimes he's called to the squad. You know, he's, he's sort of like in and out, but he's always on the peripheral. But I mean, look at this beautiful pass that he's done there. Chested by somebody else and scored by Igalo. A beautiful goal there. So we now have Kenneth Omero. He plays 
place for Kasim Pasa in Turkey. Age 30, he's got nine club goals and two goals for the national team. So this guy has been with Niger since 2013. I mean, he's fortunate. He, in his first AFCON, he actually won the AFCON with Steven Keshi and all those wonderful players, you know, Mikel Obi. But he has also sometimes been the on-field captain for Nigeria in Truce Ekong's absence when Musa has been on the bench. But I don't think he's likely to start. He is more instrumental, I think, as an older player to sort of guide the younger guys. He's no nonsense. I mean, he's quick with his feet, but also can be slightly harsh with his tackles. But a guy that I remember from long, and hopefully he'll bring out his luck and help us uh, win as he's retiring. Only God knows. So moving on, we now go on to the goalkeepers, which has been a very contentious area for Nigeria, unfortunately. We've got Francis Uzoho, who plays for Omonia Nicosia. He's age 25, zero goals for the national team, zero goals for his club as well. So on his day, he's a very good goalkeeper. He was there at the 2018 World Cup. He was our number one goalkeeper. I am sure you can remember that goal that Leo Messi scored against him. But on his day, he's a good player. But we don't know what's happening. His confidence has been racked. You know, he's just all over the place. But you know what? New lease of life. If he does come in and save Nigeria, people will forget that they were abusing him. I mean, I didn't abuse him, but <laughs> we're just asking for better from our goalkeeping department because we have it has proven recently that bad goalkeeping is causing Nigeria a lot of problems. So we don't want to be scoring unnecessarily because we're not too confident at the back. So let's watch this space. We now move on to Leke Ojo. He plays for Aimba Football Club in Aba. He's age 28, zero goals and zero goals for the national team. So he has been introduced recently. I mean, he's a player I don't see him likely to start unless unfortunately Nigeria have to play for a golden bronze match and then we allow everybody to sort of get an opportunity to actually step on the pitch. But I don't think he's going to start. He's not been used in friendlies as much. And yeah, I don't think he'll be the go-to. But yeah, we wait and see. You watch this space. Nigeria, I think, are going to stick with Francis Uzoho. That's what reports have been saying from recent friendlies. So Uzoho, I think, is going to go with the start. I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed about that. But Leke Ojo, I don't think it's going to start. We now have Stanley Nwabali. So he plays for Chipa United in South Africa. He's age 27. He's got zero goals and zero goals for the national team. So he's literally the new kid on the block. I actually believe this is his debut. So because of the issues around goalkeeping, there was a clamor from fans, from everybody, that we need to get somebody else just in case. And Pesero went to South Africa, met with Stanley and believes, yeah, he's another person. But I still don't think he's going to start from friendlies unless Pesero is just keeping his cards into his chest. Anyway, so there you have it. Please like, subscribe. Like I said, if you don't want to miss out on future videos, we're going to be dropping the video about strikers and midfielders tomorrow so don't miss out on that and please check us out later bye bye